On Overdrive today, we bring you specifics of what makes the Mercedes AMG EQS an electrifying proposition and tell you what's new in the luxurious Audi A8L. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I am Soini that The Mercedes AMG EQS 53 has big shoes to fill considering it's the first all-electric AMG from Mercedes-Benz and it also has the 55-year-old legacy of big, talky and hand-built V8 engines to look after. So Simran was out with the AMG EQS 53 to find out whether it lives up to all of its expectations. Change is constant. Change is also inevitable. And with the auto industry moving towards going fully electric by the end of the decade, change is coming fast. And if you're the in-house tuning brand, of one of the world's leading luxury car makers, like AMG is, that change is coming very, very fast. This is the AMG EQS 53. It's the first electric car to come out of Alto back. And obviously there's a lot of hope riding on it because this previews that change. We're going to see what it's like. While the EQS 53 lacks some of the visual drama usually associated with AMG's, you know, the flared wheel arches, the power domes on the hub, and of course, quad exhaust pipe, it's got plenty of presence. The EQS is a large sedan at 5.2 meter long on a 3.2 meter long wheelbase, so it really isn't escaping how much space it takes up on the road. Still, 21 inch wheels fill up the arches well enough, and the selenite grey paint add menace if only in small doses. From behind the wheel of the EQS 53, does it feel like an AMG? Well, the quick answer is yes, it does, but it also feels like a very modern AMG because though the seat lets you get quite low in the car, the hyperscreen takes up quite a bit of real estate. It feels like a bottom third or a little more of a bottom third of your vision is just taken up by all that massive screen real estate. You can fix that by moving your seat a little higher up so you get a better view out the car but then you lose some of that connect with the car and being an EV that connect is already in short supply. Now what I mean by that is that in any AMG you get in and when you press that starter button the six cylinder or the V8 whatever the case may be it roars to life and in the EQS 53 you do get the synthesized sound, but it's obviously not quite the same thing. Now when you get rolling, this thick rim steering wheel plus the AMG in front of you, it all gives you hints that you're in an AMG, albeit a big heavy AMG. Now the closest comparison that I can think of would be something like the GT4 door, the GT63. And that car is a whole different beast. Obviously it's got that bi-turbo V8, but it's also a lot more hardcore and what I'm really missing is that center console that's sort of laid out to remind you of the banks of a V8. This though, there's a lot more space here. But from behind the wheel, especially when you set the instrumentation in one of its more futuristic modes, it really, really makes you feel like you're pretty much in the next decade instead of this. And I suppose that's what the EQS 53 is trying to show us. What performance motoring is going to look like 10 years from now. While the EQS 53 is based on the EQS 580 also coming to India, its twin electric motors, one on each axle, have been tuned by AMG. And one by one man, I sure hope so. All India cars come with the Dynamic Plus pack as standard which pumps power up to 761 PS and 1020 Newton meters of torque, available for a short time when the race start launch is activated. Claim 0 to 100 kmph is 3.4 seconds and we manage 3.6 on a hot day. AMG has also upped the cooling since heat is the real enemy of an EV. With a 107.8 kWh battery, the 586 km WLTP range is the real talking figure. We estimate close to 500 km in the real world, though driving it like an AMG should be can still probably get you well over 350 km. Mercedes is setting up 180kW ultra-fast DC chargers across its network and the EQS can charge at up to 200kW. Of course, a big concern with an electric AMG is whether it still has that emotion. And the quick answer is no, not quite. 
it doesn't have all that sound it doesn't have all that fury it doesn't have all that anger when you put your foot down but it does have all that speed and more in fact the duality of the nature of this amg is even more pronounced just by how silent and comfortable it is when you're just driving around so when you're just pottering around in the city things like the ability to raise the suspension to not ground out makes a big difference the rear wheel steer makes a huge difference allowing this 5.2 meter long car with a 3.2 meter long wheelbase to essentially turn on a dime there's more to where that came from stick around after this break there'll be more amg drama coming your way stay with us you're watching overdrive